Ola Badmos TV, entertainment without bound. Hello there, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. On Trending today, TV host Ebuka recounts near death experience with police. Details in just a little bit. Current and SARS protests. Thankfully, none of us in the car that night in Abuja in 2005 died, even though a friend was hit by a bullet on his shoulder and he still carries this car to this day. He has gone on to do so many things, including being the MD of Smart City Lagos. Chisum, who was also in the car, is now a leading presenter on Supersport. Nigerian lawyer and media personality Ebuka Obi Echwandu, without mice in word, has come out to recount his near-death experience with operatives of the now defunct Special anti robbery Squad SARS. In a video he shared on social media, narrated how he and some of his friends were, were almost killed by SARS officials in 2005. Ebuka shared his experience on the Robin Minds talk show on Channel's television and recounting his ordeal, he said a policeman chased him and his friends on the 14th of November 2005, two days after his elder brother's wedding and six days after he was called to bar. Ebuka said it was one of the chill chilling moments of his life because they were chased into a police ambush and was lucky to have escaped given that a list of victims who weren't as lucky had lost their lives due to police misconduct and brutality. Here is the video. But many other Nigerians haven't been as lucky as us to stay alive today and fulfill their dreams. Kolade Johnson was killed by the police. Anita Akapsin was killed. Chijoke Ilanya was killed. Musab Samani was killed, Tina Ezekwe was killed, and thousands more. So when Nigerians talk about NSARS, it's not just a hashtag on Twitter. It has been our reality for far too long. For 14th of November 2005, just six days after I was called to the Nigerian bar and two days after my older brother's wedding, I was driving in the Zone 1 area of Abuja with my friends Chiso Mumbono is okay. And Ofem Ofem went on a marked car, drove ahead of us, and blocked my car off. Then a man in plain clothes came out of the car with a gun and pointed it at us. Of course, my instincts kicked in, and uh, I, thought he was an, I thought he was an arm robber, so I kind of found a way to maneuver and speed off. He jumped in his car and chased after us. I wasn't sure where I was going, but I just kept driving. And at some point, we found ourselves on the Olusha Basanjo Way when we noticed he had chased us into an ambush laid by policemen. Well, at least there was a police truck parked right beside what looked like six to ten men holding guns and blocking the road. And then in what is still the most chilling moment of my entire life, we watched the men raise their guns at us and open fire. We found out later that there had been several reported robbery cases in the area at the time and our dead bodies would have been paraded as the guilty arm robbers. Now, 15 years later, on the 3rd of October 2020, a young man, Joshua Ambrose, was allegedly thrown out of a moving car by members of the special anti-robbery squad in Ugeli in Delta State and that has sparked up the current end SARS protests. Thankfully, none of us in the car that night in Abuja in 2005 died even though a firm was hit by a bullet. Hi, wonderful people. My name is Emiola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Emiola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the land, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose masks to be protected above all guys let's stay safe and that's all we have for you today on trending remember to like and subscribe to any other bad tv see you soon <laughs>